Hello, this is Mike Reed coming to you with a video on Firehouse Subs. The reason why I'm giving you this video is I want to give you guys a little bit of information to prepare you for when you go out on your first jobs. When you go out, you need to know exactly what type of equipment is in that facility. So what I've done for you is I have prepared a little bit of a information on uh, on firehouse subs for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip around in the video. I also have my own video from on-site location, and then I'm going to go over the piece of equipment and explain those manufacturers, explain the actual units that they're having in this facility and then let you know about what you need to do. So this is one of the best videos I can find on Firehouse Subs. Fair use, not using any of the sound. So Fair, uh, Firehouse Subs is nationwide, it's a fast growing chain. The refrigeration that they use is true. That's what you see right there in front of you are true prep tables. And then everything else, besides the ice machine, everything else is a hot side equipment. So they normally have a couple of prep tables. And now quite a few of their locations have drive throughs So they'll have prep tables over there. Now, what we see here, what we just saw her doing was she just went and got her proteins from the steamer. So every order, the protein has its own steamer. And she's going to go over that real quick in a, in a second. We're going to fast forward because they were just talking about a couple of things. There's your bun, Mel. There's the bun for the, for the tea. Now, right there in that picture. You see on the right of your of the screen, what you're noticing, those are the AJ Antoon steamer. AJ Antoon's has a, a deal with Firehouse Subs where they have units just for them. Actually, they have a, a brand new unit that's coming out that's going to be rolling out nationwide at the different locations. They're actually doing training on those pieces of equipment now. On the right, you see the... Holman slash star bun toaster. And what I'm going to do is let me, let me flash over to some of this right now. This you'll see about eight of these things lined up behind the servers, the food preparers over there at the uh, firehouse subs. These are the food warmers. This is where they put the protein in there and it steams the food. So they call it a food warmer, but this is, this is what they use to cook the food. So it allows the operator to serve hot food quickly with the push of a button. Everything is, yeah, the key is using plain tap water. So it's got a heating element, cow rod heating element, and it's, you, they just put just a slight bit of water in a unit and using steam, they're cooking the, uh, the protein. And then they in turn take that, put that on the sandwich. Now, I've shown you all, AJ Antunes has training on Igniter's Labs. You can go on there. They have quite a bit. Now, these are the, the top of the line steamers, which has way more function than the ones that, uh, that you would see at a firehouse sub. You see, I haven't even finished all that. But, of course, you everything else is still the same. They're still using... And the cleaning is paramount with these. The cleaning is where the where the issue comes from. Now, next on the list, and then of course I have all the information on the. These are the videos on how to clean them, how to maintain the solenoid valves, all that good stuff. Same pressure relief valves. Now, this is the. Sorry about that. This is the the Star, Holman slash 
I don't know. It's like three different companies. Here are the the bun toasters that they're using. So they just put in the bread and one in, and it just comes out the conveyor and the other. This is so that they have consistency with the with the toast. And not only do they have consistency, but it allows them not to have burned bread. So you have you don't have loss, and then you have customer satisfaction, where the sandwich is the same every single time. Let me see here. Let me check in. Hey, brother, how you doing there? Now, I'm just running through this. I'm going to do this video real quick, and then it's going to be saved for the for the members. And until I figure out all those that have donated, you also have access to any of these videos that you're looking for if they end up going under any type of special situation. Now... Let me go back to this. I'm going to go back to this video and then I'm going to explain some of the other ones. Now, so this is in the back of the house. So they have the. They have another like uh, oven. And also in the front, they have a warmer. So also in the back. They have the ice machines. Their ice machines used to be exclusively exclusively Scotsman and in the last three years they opened up so it went from Scotsman to Hoshizaki well now it went from Scotsman to Hoshizaki to Isomatic and then when Isomatic wasn't able to supply all the new stores you ended up with uh, Manitowoc so the older the store you have more than likely, let's see what else we got here. The older the store means that um, the variance with the ice machine. That's what you're gonna. That's what you're gonna find is a uh, is variation. But if they manage to hold on to that, uh, that Scotsman, that's what you're gonna find. You're gonna find a Scotsman machine. Let me show you a couple pictures. Let me see here. Oh, real quick. This is the Catco. Before I go to the ice machines. This is a Catco toaster. That was in the back. I've never actually inquired as to what they're baking with this. So I think this is for the cookies. They do serve cookies. So <sighs> chances are that's what they're putting the, the cookies in is the Catco. And you see, this is what it retails for, about $1,375. Now, that will vary. These are just like your residential ovens, exactly like them. Okay, this is my own video from the back of the house. So this is, as you see, they are branded Firehouse, and then they say Roundup. AJ and Tunes owns Roundup, but this is these are the steamers. This is what they put the protein in, and it's just as you see, they just don't keep them descaled. Now here's a here's a video from. Let's see if it's actually even going to show it. Let's see here. Well, there's more than one way around that one. One second while I enlarge this. So as you can see in that picture while I'm enlarging this video, they, they have large upright true refrigerators in the back, uh, freezers, and in the front is the refrigeration prep tables. Now, let's see here. I'm going to end up showing you. Mm -hmm. One more time while you guys got me on the screen. 
I'm pulling this up. Any questions you want to know, just let me know. Just put it in the chat as we speak and we'll see what we could do. Now that's not popping up. I'm going to add one more. I'll share this video from my photo collection. So you had to excuse the voice. This wasn't exactly for you guys. This is just a video I had found. So this is the slicer that they use, Preserva. So if you ever get into slicers, you're going to know that they do not use Hobart. They use Preserva. There's a Panasonic uh, microwave. Well, that varies. There's that Catco that they use for warming up the cookies. And in this particular one, uh, was one of the generations that they first allowed them to use Hoshizaki. I believe that was around 20, 2019. They started allowing, allowing them to use Hoshizaki ice machines. But all the original ones used Scotsman. Nimco. Let me see if I went over that. There's the Nimco warmer, and that's where they keep... Um, they do a number of things with that. There's your star bread toaster there are your steamers because this particular facility right here as you see in the distance on the right of the screen in the far back that is the drive through so this one had a little more than than your usual gonna go back to that and then start to show my my regular videos regular pictures should i say so this is the this is the other brand that they have in there, which is Nimco. So these are the warmers. This was actually featured in another firehouse sub, but every single firehouse sub has this Nimco warmer. And it, this is where they keep the meatballs. The meatballs are warmed in here. So meatballs in like one other protein, and they're in two uh, split trays. They have this is a smaller one, and that's the double double uh, length one. So so you will see these Nimco warmers. They All they are is just a, it is just a thermostat with this, with that thermostat control and then a heating element. That is it. Thermostat and heating element. There's, there's not much to uh, this Nimco unit. So there's not really much of a need for any kind of tech guides or anything like that. Now, when it comes to Star, you can get whatever you need from, from Star. And this is for their bun toaster. They do run into quite a bit of issues. So this is the point now where I can take your questions. Because now I just address the issues that Firehouse Subs runs into. And those issues, since we're on the, the bun toaster, those issues just so happen to be um, the crumbs, the crumbs will have a, a tendency of, of catching fire, getting hot, things like that. And it'll cause the, the thermostat to register the wrong temperature. And so they'll try to adjust it up. And then that just, it just causes a whole lot of issues. So you'll find broken knobs with thermostat controls. There's a fan underneath. That fan needs to be clean. It collects, because of the steamers around, it will it will collect all kind of lint and block up the, the cooling fan underneath. That cooling fan also, it has a high limit switch next to it. And so once that cooling fan gets blocked up with lint, debris, that cooling fan is gonna trigger. And that will stop this machine from working. So then you'll have to go and hit the reset and then uh, clean everything out or hit the reset and then go ahead and change the, the fan motor. So those are very common things. The other thing, which is, is going to be the least favorite thing on these, is the chain. This chain that rotates through the machine runs around $900 and they damage these things quite often. 
Let me see here. This is star. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you real quick. So star. Um, uh, let's see here. Rare oven. Let me show you what I'm searching. These star ovens are four, five thousand dollars up to, as you can see here, ten grand. But you typically, these are in firehouse subs, but usually you're going to find ones that are more or less in the five thousand dollar range. The high volume locations are going to use the ten thousand dollar unit mainly because it can handle all the the crumbs and things and still keep working. That is why they have those larger ones. So let me see what they what they uh, actually call it. Just a mini there. All right. So I'm going to look for the uh, star conveyor oven belt so you can actually see what the cost of these things are. It's not my first choice to use parts town, but the parts town is in league with them on this kind of thing. Come on, don't fail me now. All right. So $762. $762 for that belt. And now what you will see here, this is just a wire belt. Now, you do have the option of repairing some of the links. It gets to be a little monotonous. It gets to be, it gets to be a pain trying to fix these chains most times we just opt to just go ahead and change the whole belt what happens is the heat allows these belts to stretch and then now they don't line up quite well with the with the sprockets with the turning um the motor has a has a gear on it and that gear locks into these uh into the belt and then the belt actually will will bow and it'll stretch. And so then as the motor's turning, the belt's not turning. And then it does get caught up and, and then the belt jerks. It, it's just a it's a nightmare. Now, if this does happen, what what will what will occur is that it will it will prevent the bread from coming out as intended. So what would happen is the bread will get burned. The bread will burn. All right. Would we find Nemco Star Ultramax found in food trucks? Yes, yes, Mel, yes. You're gonna find these in food trucks and whatnot. All right, so would PM be needed for it? That is, oh, that is up to you. It all depends on how, how busy the store is, because how busy the store is determines how much heat is going to be inflicted on that belt. Um, it, it doesn't even, it's not going to make it to a PM, chances are, if it's a big, fast moving store. Um, they're just going to wreck the belt. And it does, this isn't just firehouse up. This is everybody. This is everybody. I want to say a good eight, nine manufacturers make the same type of equipment as far as this conveyor belt that runs on as low as the 100. 115, 119, 120 volts. I have to say that because it does vary. It's not just 110, 115, 119, 120. So you do run into that situation. So this is a, as, as need be because they can't function without it. Without it, then, well, they don't even have a grill. So other locations have a griddle. And if they put the bread on the griddle, then you have inconsistencies. You end up having char on bread. On the toast or it's not toasted enough and you have complaints from the customers because the whole point of going to these chains is that it's supposed to taste the same no matter if you're in new york or if you're in miami you buy the sandwich the sandwich is supposed to be the same all right the other thing is is the uh, is the cleaning you know the other thing is the cleaning the ice machine and the whole nine it is extremely difficult to get, it is extremely difficult to get these people to do PMs. I myself have a hard time arguing with them about PMs. 
So I usually have to charge them a, uh, a much higher rate when I go out because they refuse to do a PM. So sometimes they might go a year or two in between calling you. It all depends. But sometimes these are such simple pieces of equipment, especially the steamers. They will try to fix them themselves. All right. Now, any other questions? I am going to be locking this away. This goes to all the people that have subscribed, but ones that have donated before. I can always send you a link to it in case you need access to this later. Okay. And with that, once again, we're going to flash through Catco for warming the cookies. AJ and Tunes. Oh, yeah, AJ and Tunes. And here, I can run through a quick video room for you guys. AJ and Tunes. Fair use, which owns Roundup. It's just another brand that they own. These are they have all the videos on their on their uh, site. What you're going to see is I'm going to put the link right here in the chat so you can go right to the spot that I'm talking about. There it is below. So they're going to go over everything you need to, to go ahead and service these. None of these things are, are complex. The most complex thing they have will be the ice machine. Second will be the the uh, the true refrigerators. Now I did have some other pictures of of some of the other things, the mop sink and whatnot, for all of you that are into chemicals like I am. But there it is. That is, in a nutshell, this is Firehouse Subs. That's everything that they have. Now. And you know most of what problems that they're encountering. So they give you everything. Yeah, because that solenoid gets all blocked up. They're covering everything. How the unit works. I thought I'd turn that volume down. So they're showing you. So they're... <laughs> So as you can see, seasoned is code word for dirty. So what they they're saying seasoned, but that's actually dirty. So this is what an underperforming steamer looks like. So when they're they're complaining, saying that the food, the employees are saying that the food is taking a while to come out. Or they have to run it longer than what they normally do. That is because they need to everything needs to be cleaned. Everything needs to be good. So they give you all your ammunition. They tell you everything you need to know. All right. So before I go, any last questions? Let's see here. Unseasoned generator. Property seasoned generator. Interesting. All right. So thank you all for supporting the channel. And I'll see you on the next one.